we are going to solve question number 10 and onwards in this lesson that is exercise 14 c of d 2 7th edition and that is basically the solution of Venn diagram so question number 10 is identify and hit the following regions on uh, separate Venn diagrams and part number one is question number 10 part number one they have given us a Venn diagram and they have asked us to shade this is universal set we have a set K and we have a set L and in part 1 they have asked us to shade K intersection L well K intersection L is the region where K and L they are overlapping so this part that is common part to both K and L they will be headed this will be headed now for part number 2 drawing again the same Venn diagram this is K this is L and this is universal set and part number 2 is to shade K union L now K union L mean you have to shade K as well as you have to shade L so I am shading K you in union you are going to shade complete K and complete L so this is the shading of K and L so K union L is this and part number 3 again you need to draw Venn diagram and uh, you need to draw the circles of K and L and this is universal set and part 3 says you have to shade K union L whole complement now K union L whole complement mean we need to shade the region other than K union L in case of the complement of K union L now the region other than K union L is the region outside the circles of K and L so this part which is outside K and L which is outside the circles of K and L this will be shaded so this is the answer for question number 1 question number 11 of uh, exercise 14 C that it, it is given that M is uh, a set you know, that is described in set notation X is a perfect square such that 0 is less than X and X is less than 70 so we have got a set M which have perfect squares between 0 and 70 so 1 is a perfect square 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 5 square is 25 6 square is 36 7 square is 49 8 square is 64 we have to restrict ourselves below 70 so these are the possible perfect squares between 0 and 70 and then we have got a set P which is a set that has perfect cube so for perfect cube 1 cube is 1 and then 2 and that is between 0 and 70 so for perfect cube between 0 and 70 we have 1 cube that is equal to 1 2 cube is 8 3 cube is 27 and 4 cube is 64 and we have to restrict ourselves between 0 and 70 now part 1 is list all the elements in M and P in set notation so I have listed the elements of M and P in set notation so this is the answer for part number 1 for part number 2 we need to draw a Venn diagram to represent the sets M and P right so draw two circles one circle for M one circle for P this is for M this is for P uh, look for the common elements between M and P well one is common 
and uh, 64 is common so i'm going to write these two common elements in this part because this is overlapping part and uh, that is the part that contains the elements that are part of both m and p now writing 1 and 64 here so the rest of the elements of m will be written over here 4 19 sorry 4 9 16 25 36 49 over here and from the elements of p after writing 164 in this overlapping section 8 and 27 will be written over here this is the representation in venn diagram and part number three part number three is from the venn diagram list all the elements in m intersection p okay we need to list all the elements in the common region in m intersection p in set notation and by referring to venn diagram the elements in the common part mean the part which is overlapping one between m and p is this one and the elements are 1 and 64 so this is the solution for question number 11 question number 12 of exercise 14 c 7th edition d2 says we have a set n we have a set n and uh, it has uh, elements which are basically the elements are multiples of 8 and the range is between 0 and 32 whereas 32 is a part of n because of this equality sign over here so 32 will be included so writing multiples of 8 between 0 and 32 with 32 included 8 16 24 32 now 32 is included because we have this symbol over here this one along with this inequality sign okay then we have a set q and the set q is uh, a set that has multiples of 4 and that also ranges between 0 and 32 so that is 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 multiples of 4 with 32 included however 0 obviously it is greater than 0 anyhow the part 1 says list all the elements in n and q while well, i have done that they are in set notation the part number 2 is find n intersection q well n intersection q mean you are going to write those elements in n and q which are present in both of them like 8 is present in n and q and then we have 16 present in n and q so 8 16 then you have 24 that is part of both of these sets then you have got 32 so these four elements are the answer for this part 8 16 24 and 32 then in part number four or part number three says to draw a diagram draw a diagram to represent the sets that is uh, n and q so draw two circles this is n this is q well write down the common elements in this part this region is overlapping region for n and q so the common element will be written over here 8 16 24 32 however elements of n other than these will be written here and we don't have any other element in n other than these so these fall in the common region now talking about q we have got some elements like 4 20 28 
uh, in Q after taking out 8, 16, 24 and 32 for this common part. So, this is Venn diagram for this one and part number 4 of the same question says is, is n intersection Q equal to n is it it the result of n union Q what is the result of n oh sorry excuse me for that n intersection Q what is the result of n intersection Q well that is in front of you 8 16 24 32 this is the result for n intersection Q and is it equal to n 8 16 24 yes now that is equal to n 8 16 24 32 so the answer is yes because both the sets have got the same elements and same number of elements and exactly same elements so answer is yes yes okay that is solution for question number 12 then we have question number 13 exercise 14 c and question number 13 says it is given that we have got a set r and R has got elements and the elements are positive integers and these positive integers they are a factor of 18 as well ok. So, I am going to write the set R in set notation. So, 1 is a factor of 18 yes as well as a positive integer then we have got 2 which is a factor of 18 yes it is and a positive integer then we have got 3 a factor of 18 a positive integer then you have got 6 a factor of 18 and a positive integer 9 a factor of 18 and 18 ok we have got these the next one is a set s right and that is a composite number between 9 and 18 hmm. 9 and 18 a composite number mean a number having more than two factors like if we have got 10 if we have got 10 then it has got more than two factors obviously uh, 1 is a factor of 10 2 is a factor of 10 5 is a factor of 10 and 10 is a factor of 10 then 11 no no 11 is a prime number then 12 13 is a prime number, 14 is a composite, 15 is composite, 16 is composite and we have to go up till 18, 17 is not composite. So this is a set S and that has 10, 12, 14, 15 and 16. Now part 1 says list the elements in R and as in set notation well I have done this over here so part 1 answer is over here so answer for part 1 is right over here part number 2 is part number 2 list ok find R intersection S no that word intersection mean no you look for common common elements in R and S well that mean the elements which are part of both these sets. So, do we have any? Uh, we have 18, 9, 3. Okay, well, that looks like that is an empty set. So, part number 2. Part number 2, R intersection S is an empty set. Now, part number 3 is draw a Venn diagram to represent the sets R and S. So, we need to draw a Venn diagram. So, for that draw two circles. One is denoted by R, one is by S. Write down as because we do not have anything in common. So, this part the overlapping one will be empty. In this case, we do not have any common elements in this section. So, we need not write anything over here. Elements of R 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. They will be written over here while elements of S 10, 
12, 14, 15, 16 will be written over here. So this is solution of question number 13. I will wind my lesson over here. I will upload the next questions in my next video. Thank you so much.